What's up guys, I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the first episode of How Did I Empty? And we're talking about love specifically. And I wanted to start this series talking about love because all the other stuff I'm gonna talk about, I think is pointless if you don't love people well. You know, you can pursue all the dreams and passions in your heart, but if at the core of it, you're not doing it because you love people and you love the people that you're making that stuff for, doing that stuff for, then it's pointless. And I love how Corinthians 13 puts it, is that you might as well just be like a clanging symbol because, because you could do all the greatest things in the world, but they're pointless without love. So to illustrate this point, I want to tell you a story. And this story is from Luke chapter 7. And I'm going to have it in the description of the video down below. So if you want to read it, you can read it there. I'm just going to be referencing it for the sake of time in this video. But this is the story where Jesus is having dinner with a Pharisee. And if you don't know what a Pharisee is, they're, um, they're a religious leader from back then. They're similar to like a pastor or a priest in today's world. So he's having dinner. And for the sake of this video, I want you to kind of picture them at each end of a table. And so you have Jesus on one end and Jesus which he was, and, and but also, like, I guess for this video, metaphorically, I want you to picture him as the embodiment of love, okay? And then on the opposite end of this table, you have the Pharisee, and I want you to picture him as the embodiment of self-righteousness, or that idea of feeling like you're good enough, or that you're better than most people. And... And before we, I dive into the rest of the story, I wanted to set that up because, in my opinion, the opposite of love, actually, a lot of people might think it's hate or something like that, but honestly, I think it's actually this sense of self-righteousness, that I'm better than you, that I'm good on my own. And as the story goes, there's a woman who's a prostitute from the city that heard that Jesus was in that house and she goes over there and she comes into the house and she goes straight to Jesus and begins to weep on his feet and wipe his feet with her hair. And then after she cleans off his feet, she begins to kiss his feet and pour perfume on his feet. And as this is going on, the Pharisee on the other side of the table begins to think, man, if Jesus was a prophet, he would know who that woman is and he wouldn't let her touch him like that. And what's incredible is Jesus knows what he's thinking and responds. He's like, doesn't someone who's forgiven a lot love a lot versus someone who's forgiven a little, they don't, they, they only love a little. And he, and then he goes on to contrast this Pharisee with the way that the woman treated him. And he says, this woman, has been kissing my feet the, since the moment she got in here. But when I walked in the door, you didn't even greet me with a kiss. I love the contrast of the way that Jesus treated this woman and the way this Pharisee treated this woman. But I also love the contrast of this, the way that the woman treated Jesus versus the way the Pharisee treated Jesus. And you'll, when you, what you'll find is when you look at this room, the only one who doesn't freely express love is the Pharisee. And you'll see that it's only when we can receive the love of God that we can freely give love to people around us. And, and just, just as a test for yourself, I want you to picture the table with the embodiment of love on one side and the self-righteous person on the other side. And I want you to honestly ask yourself, which one do I normally look like? Am I normally the accepting, overwhelmingly compassionate person that genuinely wants the best for people despite of what their mistakes might be? Or am I the person that is constantly hung up on what other people have done and how they haven't been wise or how they made bad decisions? And I wanna challenge you to be more like Jesus. You know, when I think about this story, I, I'm always so challenged because of how intense this woman responded to him. I just want you to like, 
a lot of times we kind of forget that Bible stories are real stories, that these things really happened. But just think about how loved you'd have to feel by somebody to do what this woman did, where she goes and cries and cleans his feet and kisses his feet. You know, like, I've never seen anything like that in my life, you know? And, and I just want to challenge you, man. Like, and I'm going to challenge myself. Try to love people like that. You know, when you really love people, it's obvious. When you really love somebody, when you really genuinely want the best for them, you can feel it. And, and the Bible says that they will know we are Christians by our love. And so I just want to challenge you with this video, you know, first off, receive God's love. If, if there's some part of your life that you've been convincing yourself that you're doing it good enough on your own, stop doing that, man. Just let God's love fill your heart in every aspect of who you are. And secondly, if there's things you've been judging people on, man, try to put that aside and just genuinely love people. At the end of your life, you're not going to feel satisfied if you lived it like this Pharisee, judging everybody you saw. You're going to feel satisfied if you lived your life in every person you came in contact with, felt the genuine love of God from you. So guys, I hope that you'll think about this and pray about this how and how try to figure out how you can love people better. That's everything I wanted to share in this episode. Please subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the next episodes as they come out. But that's it for this video. As always, die empty. I'll catch you in the next one.